Hey guys, welcome back. Miss McBride here to talk about numbers again. So welcome back to math. And remember, first things first, whenever we talk tackle a new lesson standard and target, we always got to make sure that we take good notes. So when I write, you write. First name, you are a pronoun. So make sure those capitals are in there. And always, always the date. So this week, we're actually going to be doing something a little bit different with numbers, okay? So here's my name, and there's the date. And this time, we do have a lesson standard, okay? Here's our lesson standard. And I just want you to write the lesson standard number, because it's a very long thing. Anyway. We're not going to get into that, okay? But that's the lesson standard number. I do want you to write that down. But here's our lesson target. You repeat after me. I can use my place value understanding to write multi-digit numbers in standard form, expanded form, and word form. Perfect. Write that down. Key vocabulary, standard form, expanded form, word form, and place value. And here I have an example of the number 10. So by the end of the week, We'll be able to do all of these things with any number that we choose. We'll be able to put in standard form, expanded form, and word form, which I like to call sew. We're going to sew the number together. S-E-W is an acronym for standard, expanded, and word. We'll be able to put it in equations because when we put a number in expanded form, when we put equal into the standard form, it turns into an equation. And when we write it in expanded form, it is an expression. That was a little much, but you're doing it even if you're not aware of it. Okay, so that's first things first. So by the time we finish everything, your notes should look just like this. Okay, very good. So now, let me show you a little trick about taking notes with place value. When you have your notes in place value, Turn your composition book sideways. So instead of you drawing out all of these lines and things, if you look at Miss McBride's notes, you can use the lines in the composition book as your columns and just put THTO, ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. And then we have nice, beautiful notes. So when you want to write down your numbers and know which column they go in for your place value, okay? Just turn it sideways, okay? It's a little cheat tip that it just shows. It's not really cheating. But so here we go. So now let's get into place value, okay? And we've already reviewed our lesson target, okay? And our key vocabulary, expanded word, all of that jazz. So let's get straight into it. Whatever number that we have, we are going to use that number in a place value chart to write it in standard expanded and word form okay that's what we're going to do now to do that the first thing you need is a place value chart okay you need a place value chart oh look at that it's a place value chart this is a digital manipulative that you can go to at dadax.com There we go. We're going to use the place value chart to put our numbers in standard, expanded, and word form to sew it together this week. Okay? Very good. So again, lesson target. I can use place value understanding to write multi-digit numbers in standard, word, and expanded form. Very good. So here's our key vocabulary, guys. Write this down. So our place value. Place value given to a digit by its place in a number. Okay, so depending on where it is in the chart, that's its place value. So if it's in the ones, it's a ones. If it's a ten, it's in the tens, and so on and so forth. Now, standard form is the usual way of writing a number that shows its digit. So another way of saying that is a standard form number is exactly the number the way it is. Nothing about it changed. It is what it is. Okay, you don't have to do anything to it. Word form, the form of a number that uses written words. So instead of writing one zero for 10, you're going to write T-E-N. And then expanded form. Every time I say expanded form, I want you to go expanded. 
because you know with expanded form, I want you to understand that we are making the number bigger. So we want to expand it. And that represent an expanded form is the representation of a number as a sum and equation that shows the value of each digit. So instead of just putting it all together, we want to show the value of each number on its own put together with an operation to equal a standard form. You guys are geniuses. I know by first and you got it. So perfect. Here we have our note sideways. So whenever we do a place value, we always want to start moving from the right to the left. Because the first number that we choose from the right side is always going to go in the ones column. Let me show you what that looks like. Okay, I want to take a number and I'm going to use my virtual manipulative to do it. Okay, I'm just going to pick any number. I'm going to pick um, 6,412. Okay, now first thing you want to do is draw your chart. Once you've done that, write your number down so you don't forget. Then the next thing you want to do is if you have four digits, you need to have four columns. And something is going to go in every column, okay? The third thing you want to do is identify the number all the way to the right. Because that number will always go in the ones place yes it will always go into ones place that's why we move from right to left because if you get that ones place right then everything else is just going to fall into place so we're going to put two ones in our ones column and if you look over here at our 10 blocks i'm going to take ten, two ones and put them in the ones column here we go one Two. So now, moving from right to left, our next number is 1. So that 1 is going to go where? In the very next column, in the tens place. Very good. Just moving from right to left. So now I'm going to put 1 tens in the tens place. Now, what's our next number? You got it. 4. That four is going to go in the hundreds place. Very good. I'm going to take four one hundreds and put them over here. Here we go. One, two, and these can overlap. Three and four. Excellent. And our last number for this particular number is six. And so six is going to go in the Hunt thousands place. I do apologize. So here's our thousand, and I need six of them. Oh my god, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So let me check myself. Six thousand four hundred twelve. Four six thousand four hundred twelve. We don't want to say six thousand four hundred and twelve. It's six thousand four hundred twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, one, one, two. Two points for Miss McBride. Very good. So now that I have my place value chart completely filled up, I checked myself. Now let me answer the question. I am using place value to write my number in standard form. Well, what is standard form? Let's go back to our key vocabulary that we wrote in our notes. And key vocabulary is use the usual way of writing a number that shows its digit. And remember, I said when you write a number in standard form, you don't have to do anything. You just, it is what it is. You just write the number exactly how it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase my lines because I don't need them anymore. Because I put everything where it's supposed to go. Yes. Yes. And I'm going to write so, my acronym for standard expanding the word. S E W. And for standard form, it is what it is. I'm going to rewrite 
the original number, 6,412. Done for standard form. That's it. Let's do one more. So I'm going to erase my number, and we're going to do one more. Because I want to show you guys what happens when you have a zero in there. So I'm going to pick 1,406. I'm going to reload my page. So now I have a clean new place value chart. And remember, we start from right to left. So what's our first number? Our first number is 6. And remember, 6 will always go in the 1's place. And then we move from right to left. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, let's pay close attention to this number right here. It is a zero. Now, remember I said every number has a place on the chart. But how do you represent zero? No matter where it is, how do you represent it? What you're going to do is you're going to just put an imaginary zero. Just know that that zero, and very faintly, there's a little fake zero right there, because I know that that's zero, okay? I don't want to leave it blank, because I might forget to represent it in standard, expanded, or word form. So I'm just going to put a little faint little zero to understand that that is zero tens there. There's nothing there, okay? And then as we practice more and more, you'll be like, okay, I don't need to put it there. I know, okay? Now let's do four. Four hundreds, very good. And then one thousand. So let me check myself. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, zero, zero, four, one, two, three, four, and one, one thousand. So it is what it is when we do standard form. So I'm just going to rewrite right next to my cell. One, four, zero, six. Very good. Now, let's talk about expanded form. Okay? Expanded form. Before we do, I am going to erase so I can have a fresh new chart. Because now we are digging deeper into learning about our whole number. Okay? We know how to do it in standard form. Now let's rock it and put it in expanded form. Here we go, but let's look back to our key vocabulary and what is expanded form? Expanded form right here is the representation of a number as a sum that shows the value of a digit. Now remember, I said sum means plus. And I'll show you what that looks like. You still need your place value chart because that's still our lesson standard to use that chart to do this. So here we go. Let's just pick any number. Hmm, I'm going to pick 3,103. Look at that. That's the number I'm going to choose. Okay. Now, standard form, we're going to do that too. We're going to keep building on it. So, we're not going to not do standard form. We're still going to do that too. So, here we go. First number always goes in the ones place. Very good. So, here we go. One two, and three. Our next number, and as I do my numbers, I like to check them off so I know I've taken care of it. My next number is one, and that's in the tens place. And let me give myself a check. Boom. Then we have another one in the hundreds place. Got it? And then we have our three in the thousands place. One, Two, three. Take a moment to check yourself. One, two, three, three. One, one. Hundreds, one. Thousands, one, two, three, one, two, three. Bingo. Standard form. It is what it is. Just rewrite it. Three, one, one, three. Now we have to put it in expanded form. So to put it in expanded form, if you have three numbers, one, two, three, then we need three representations 
put together with the sum. So on your chart, in between each column, I want you to put a plus sign. Okay? Once you do that, now we're going to pull our numbers out of the place value chart and create our expanded form. Okay? Watch. In this situation, we will not move from right to left. We will move from left to right because that's the way we read. Watch it. Here we go. Three thousands. So when you pull one out, you take that first number and everything after it is a zero. So this 3,000 would have zero, zero, zero. And you move your plus. So I pulled this out and there it is. And now I have to put my plus sign. Plus doesn't go anywhere. Plus is still there. We're creating an expression. So I pulled out my 3,000. I actually want to change this color so that we all understand all the different things that are going on. Very good. So now I'm going to pull out my hundreds. Hundreds has to come out too. Okay. And we have one hundreds. We have one hundred. One hundred. Three thousand. Okay. And then we're going to pull out that plus sign. That's sum. There it is right there. You don't have to circle it. I'm just circling it to emphasize it. Now let's pull out our tens. Let's pull that out. Stick it right there. Ten. Now, plus sign again. And then three ones. So for the three, just put the number three. And that is your expanded form. 3,000 plus 100 plus 10 plus 3. That's your expanded form. Okay? I'm going to do a smaller number with the zero in it. Because we need to see that and we need to understand that. Okay? Pause the video here if you want to jot this down. Here we go. Fresh start. I'm going to do the number 10. Okay, I'm going to use my place. I could have left those pluses there, huh? I'm going to use the number 10 in my place value chart to write my number in expanded form. 10. And my zero goes in the ones column. But remember, there's really no, nothing there. So I'm just going to put a little fake zero. Okay? And here's my one that will go in the tens. And that's it. Standard form. It is what it is. So we just rewrite it. No thought behind it. Now let's get to that expanded form. Two numbers. That means I need to have two representations with the sum. Well, Miss McBride, how do we represent that? Well, let's move from left to right. Same thing that we just did. 10. And we're going to pull that out. And we're going to write 10 here. There's still a plus sign here, even though it's 0. So it's going to be plus. And we still have to represent the zero. Zero. We still have to pull it out. So a better way for me to draw these arrows would not be to say that this zero is coming from the 10 because it's not coming from the 10 in expanded form. There's that zero. Okay. And let me... Boom, that's better. 
Okay, so even if there's a zero in your number, you still have to represent it in an expanded form, okay? You still have to represent it in an expanded form, okay? There are some exceptions, and when we get to those, we'll address those as a class. But just for just getting back into numbers, this is good where we are, okay? Don't want to make it too complicated. So now, let's move on to written form, okay? So I'm going to just keep the number 10 up here and go back to my vocabulary about word form. And you'll hear word and written used interchangeably. They both mean that I don't want you to put the number 10. I want you to write up the word number 10. So the word form is the form of a number that's used that uses written words. So for the written, for the word form of the number 10, you just write the word 10. Look at that. T E. And once you've done all three of those steps, you have now sewn your number together. So whenever you say, let's sew this number together, guys, I'm talking about standard, expanded, and word form. Don't worry. In your math folder, I have included a anchor chart with all the numbers written down in case you, for, you have forgotten how to spell them. Okay? So there's an anchor chart in the math folder with how to spell the most common words for your written form. See? So there should be no reason why we're spelling them wrong or at least getting as close to them as possible because nobody's perfect. I misspell things all the time. So to get some practice in, in class, we uh, did some Google slides where we wrote in the numbers in standard form. Then we did some uh, in expanded form and in word form. And we did them all on our Google Slides. That was a homework and classwork assignment and a mastery assignment. So go back through your math sections and make sure you have everything done. If you have any questions, definitely reach out. And that is sewing your whole favorite number or any number that you want. All right. So until next time, guys. Bye-bye.